this is the service area for the system. Um, I've used a female jammer connector here, but I've had to cut it in half and uh, separate it so that it's slightly further apart because the jammer board that I'm using is a little bit thick and it grips it a bit too well. I've connected with uh, grounded cables over to the front of the system for the controller. Um, basically the idea is that a console system will plug into here and then that will relay all the controls and the video and the audio for the system. This is a HDMI upscaler up to 1080p or it can output via SCART. I've also incorporated a number of regulators for the different systems and uh, this is the graphics which fits on top which of course will be screwed down. As to the rest of this particular box there's another view of the jammer connector we've got a simple on-off switch and a parallel port which is used for the external master controller the cables here all connect under the system along to the connector and these of course are just to protect the surface. This is the N64 section um, basically everything was connected to the jammer now connector up here it goes into the main uh, service areas of the system feeds in the ground and the voltage feeds out all the connections from the controller and of course the video and the audio and the uh, game cartridge of course has also been covered via the vinyl covering to make it look integrated. This is an RGB board in order to uh, make the image as good as, uh, as you're going to get on one of these old This is the completed base unit. There's a SCART socket as covered before. The HDMI which in effect takes this signal and uh, upscales it to 1080p and um, the power import which is from the GameCube power supply. The controller plugs into the parallel port and it causes a standard on off switch. So I'll operate this one handedly to show, so I'm just going to put the unit towards the back. This is the N64 made into the controller and connects into the system of course via the trace board here. So to align it and then push into place and makes the system as one. These um, are of course just to conceal the screw holes um, they're not really visible when the system is in place. What we then do of course is to put the game cartridge into place once the system is connected. And I've had uh, to use an upscaler for HDMI is, as you see on the back of this there's no SCART port. Uh, in fact there's not even a composite port. All I have here is HDMI. So therefore I've used an upscaler uh, which will work on all the systems um, in order to allow the system to work in fact via this So to provide a demonstration of the system what I've done is I've connected a parallel cable it's a 7 meter cable to the master controller which as mentioned before will cover everything up to the N64 I will also put in PlayStation and GameCube but that will need to utilize its own controller because simply 25 connections in the parallel port is not, uh, is not enough in order to do all the other functionality. This port looks like it gets in the way but actually it doesn't when you play. So if we now connect the system up, as you see the television's already on. If I flick to on, you'll see it's initialized in SCART mode which in effect is RGB. It takes a couple of seconds to think about things and then it will get into the game. As you see it's running at 1080p at 50 hertz. This is Tetrisphere, quite a good game, but it also utilizes the uh, let's say higher resolution mode of the N64. Games like Mario 64, a fantastic game, but only works at about 240 um, resolution, whereas this one is at 480, so naturally the image quality is far far better. I can change the upscaler, the HDMI upscaler, if I uh, choose to, but I think, to be quite frank, this is a really good one. It only cost about £25 on eBay in China. I'm quite happy with the result. 
obviously older systems, um, nails etc. will also be relatively low resolution but still extremely playable. It certainly doesn't affect gameplay but uh, I would expect the GameCube and others to uh, look extremely pretty because of course there's a much higher resolution than this. But just to give an overview, as you see, it all works very well. And uh, obviously the controller works as you would expect it to. Just uh, press the start button so you can see that part going. Um, and so on and so forth. I'm going to incorporate a number of other systems um, into the unit, which of course will be covered into future videos. But so you can see proof of concept, everything's working, first system going, master system completed, and also demonstration of the video mode.